Right, so I've got my jungle scene in place. I've got my toucan there. I've got my obstacles. I've got a floor. I've got something at the top as well. Remember, it's a jungle, so there's stuff growing from above. And I've got a little balloon which will appear as well. The first thing I want to do is get the toucan moving. Now, all we're going to do is make the toucan move up and down. It won't move sideways. It just needs to go up and down because later we'll get the background scrolling so it looks as though the toucan is moving forwards. The way it's going to be controlled is with the left mouse button. If we hold the left mouse button down, the toucan will go up. If we let go of it, the toucan will fall. If the toucan touches something which isn't white, everything stops. That's the program we're going to write now. We want everything to begin when we click on this green flag. So first of all, make sure that you've got the code tab displayed. And I'm going to select this category of blocks, the events category. When the green flag is clicked, that will start the game. And the very first thing I want to happen is that the token moves into the correct position. So let's just get that token in the correct position now. I'm popping him around about here looks good, maybe a little bit further to the right. Notice how the toucan has got an X value and a Y value. The X value is how far across the screen it is, and the Y value is how high it is. And when I move it, I can see these numbers are changing. So let's just get him into position. I want the toucan to pop into that position when the game begins. So I'm going to use a motion block, go to X and Y. And because I've put the toucan in the right place, Scratch has very kindly put the numbers that I need in there for me. That's where the toucan will go. Let's just pop him somewhere else and press the green flag. And you can see he's jumping into position. Fantastic, that's working. Now I'm going to write some code to check if the mouse button has been pressed so we can make the toucan move upwards. And I need to keep checking until the game is over. So what I'm going to do next needs to happen forever. Let's go to the control blocks this time and get a forever block. All the code I'm going to write now will go inside this block. And in the block, I'm going to ask the question, has the mouse button been pressed? So I'm going to use an if block now. And I need to sense if the mouse has been pressed or not. So I'm going to use a sensing block, this one here. If mouse down, and I want the toucan to move up. If the mouse is pressed, the toucan moves up. Another motion block. I'm going to change the Y value by not too much, let's make it three. So when the mouse is pressed, the Y value is increased by three. And we're going to keep checking. We keep checking while the game is running. Let's just test that, shall we? Hit the green flag. I press the left mouse button. The toucan moves up. That's fine. What I'd like to happen is when I'm not pressing the mouse button, I'd like the toucan to fall. So I'm going to use another if block this time to test if the mouse button is not being pressed. So to control, if, and I want to say if not mouse down. Not is a logical operator. So I'll find that under the green category here. If not, sensing, if not mouse down, then I'm going to change Y by minus three, so the token is falling. Let's go to motion. Change Y by minus three, which means he'll be moving downwards. Let's test that. Hold the mouse button, he moves up, let go, he moves down. And that's working nicely. When I let go altogether, it just falls off the screen. Fortunately, when I hit the green flag, it comes back into position. And that's the bird moving. There's other things I need to do, but for now, I've got some control. Next, I'm going to show you how to get the background moving.